Hello Riven mains and Yasuo mains alike, I am the Nightwing, Way of Life Esports, coming at you guys with another League of Legends video. So yes, Worlds 2019 has kicked off and we started off with a banger, SKT versus the pride and soul of EU, G2 Esports. Now, the rightful kings of EU will have to wait to play until later on tonight, but the second kings and Fnatic played first against SKT. Now, I'm just going to do a quick introduction to this and then go on to my day two predictions. Uh, usually, if you guys are new to the channel, I do this for LCS, LEC, and the LCK. The LPL is too much to do for day-to-day -day predictions. I would go in insane, actually. But, uh, actually, what I do is that I quickly run down what happened the previous day, and then I give my predictions for the next day. Actually, some of my predictions uh, did not pay off today, but some of them did, actually, in the most unlikely places. So, that's actually pretty interesting. I think I went grand for total 3 for 3, which is pretty okay I, that means i'm almost at a group stage or i i'm third place in a group so yeah so the first round we had skt versus fanatic now if you guys have been watching league for as long as i have fanatic has not played skt since 2016 spring this was all the way back when fanatic had gamsu spirit uh, reckless cly and Febivin still in the mid lane. So yeah, it's been a very long time since these two orcs have actually faced each other. Uh, for the most uh, famous matchup people remember is the best of five Fnatic played up against SKT in which, well, well, yeah, obviously they lost. But yeah, so we, have, we haven't seen SKT play against Fnatic in a very, very long time. And uh, this match was okay. I, I think that Fnatic tried to... Uh, show off for the crowd is kind of what I got the feeling from them picking the Garen and the, and the Yumi I mean made sense. They've had a lot of success with that in you know, the LEC, but SKT uh, I have my stern prediction from here on out throughout the entire group stage for SKT is they're going They're playing just like they did today. Just like they did today. Oh my god. They are going six and zero They are gonna make the perfect run again just like they did back in 2015. They all play great. Uh, there are a few mi mishaps here and there, but even effort uh, didn't even get uh, his usual caught out self. So yeah, you're lo looking at possibly the next finalist right here. I know it's day one to honestly predict that, but just looking at the level of gameplay they show. Now, theoretically, they could drop off, but yeah, they're going 6-0 in this group. I don't think any of the teams are really going to match up to them. Maybe RNG does that. RNG looked kind of iffy on certain points with Clutch, which we'll get into in a moment. But yeah, SKT take, takes down Fnatic. Uh, hopefully, the next day, Fnatic are going to be able to bounce back as they are going up against Clutch. Also, Next match is RNG versus Clutch. Uh, RNG had a few problems with Clutch. Uh, the... Xiao who trying to kill Demonte didn't really go as planned. There are a few moments where Clutch kind of could have capitalized on a lot of things, but they really didn't. And then, well, RNG just took him over. IG made complete mincemeat of AHQ. It wasn't even fair how badly IG destroyed them. And for people that were doubting IG, I really wanted to tell them, yes, they did play bad in um, Summer Split. And people ran with that 30 billion times. Oh, they played bad in Summer Split. They played bad in Summer Split. They played bad in Summer Split. Shy ran it down. Rookies washed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, good players like that having one bad split, let's just throw them to the curb and destroy them. I don't think that's the right way to really look at players like that. But overall, I like I said before, it's still day one. It's still too early to judge a team's actual strength when you're looking at all of that. IG completely destroy HQ. I mean, you, you could watch the game. There's a few moments in there where you think HQ have a chance at something, but no, they get absolutely destroyed. And then, actually, so right now at this point, I'm doing good over here. I'm like, I'm 2-0 and zero in my predictions. All right, Fnatic failed me, but it's, it's all good though. My my uh, RNG boys with Uzi got their win. My IG boys with Rookie and the Shy got me the win. And then I come over to this game. Dan 1 versus TL was the 
fourth matchup of the day. Like I said before, if you punish Dan Wan's bot lane, you are going to have a good chance of beating them. Also, I Impact didn't lose that badly to Naguri. There was moments where he was falling kind of behind, but it was overall not bad enough to the point where the soul, the strong soul laners of TL didn't lose as badly to Dan Wan. And I also predicted TL to win yesterday, and I'm so glad they were one of the Western teams that actually got me the win. To think that TL got me the win over uh, Dan Wan, and then instead of uh, Fnatic giving me that strong W, I'm doing good right now. I, I got my... I got my RNG, IG, and TL hats on, but right now, uh, TL had a great game against uh, Damn One. A lot of people did not think they could beat them. I knew that they could do it. Uh, you just exploit the bot lane. Your soul laners do not need to lose that badly to their soul laners, and then if you have a good enough composition, you can take down Damn One, and, that, and that's exactly what happened today. And congrats to TL for finally getting a win on the board. We know that this was one of the reasons why they didn't get a chance to get out of the group last year was because they actually just lost out on so many wins in week one that it was so hard to make it up uh, during the next couple of days when their group restarted again. So it's actually good right now to get that W on the on the board and start your group stage off really, really strong. That way, you know, just in case anything bad happens, at least you already have a win to look over to. Next, you have the biggest upset of the day. You had CTBC, Big Black Cock, J-Team, strutting their entire nine inch dick all over fun plus and i don't mean that literally they literally did that now this had a game this was a game full of back and forth fighting for a little bit fun plus's composition didn't really have anything i fundamentally believe lwx was literally trolling i don't know what the hell he was thinking i don't know why doing be picked mid scion personally I, I know he's done that in the lpl but like guys these teams aren't stupid the reason why he can do that in the lpl and get away with it is because those some of the players just aren't comprehending what the pick is doing it's not really a damage pick. It's more of a uh, of a pick where I'm putting all the damage into other people. J Team saw that and they picked the composition to the point where they could exploit the Scion mid because they knew he was gonna try something like that. And J Team obviously exploited a, a good part about Fun Plus. Now, is this considered a big choke on FPX's part? probably you know pe most people predicted they were going to be the next undefeated team coming out of groups nope not gonna happen it's over on day one actually uh yeah i'm pretty sure skt is going undefeated in their actual uh group stage this year so rip those pickums for me because definitely rip rip those pickums because i chose fpx and then they lost so i went one two three okay so i'm basically three and two at this point and then now gam esports failed me too so basically splice really really improved on a lot of things a lot of people gave them flack for now is this because they they have an easy group that it's making them look obviously a lot better we're, we're gonna be asking ourselves that literally the entire group stage are they only good because of how easy their group is human the gam could have possibly won this game but their composition was so like glass cannon like it only goes forward if you lose with a composition like that with kha'zix the, the mid tristana and the other picks that they had it just does not work and i think that their composition failed so at everything to the point where you could say it was lost in draft and it really was and splice uh had a massive massive standout as i were to pick mvps for today uh today for the mvp i'm gonna actually pick teddy he played absolutely incredible for rng carson played out of his mind ig rookie came back into his form a little bit for tl i'm gonna say their mvp was double lift he had a really really good game a really solid game ctbc big black cock j team uh their their mvp for me was obviously fofo uh because if i choose their jungler i'd probably gonna go outside and blow my goddamn brains out but overall yes those are my uh, uh mvps and for the mvp of splice I'm going to actually choose uh, Humanoid as he had a great game. So to kind of give a, a lot of flavor to my um, recaps, I, I know I don't have the highlight, you know, for all the games yet. I, I'm still kind of working on that and learning how to edit that kind of stuff. So please bear with me as maybe next year I'll finally be able to do that for you lovely people. All right, so now on to day two, we got our day one recap out of the way. Uh, we got some banger matches. Uh, first off is SKT versus RNG, a rematch of the 2017 
World Semifinals. RNG has not faced SKT since, and it's been a hell of a roller coaster uh, for these two organizations since they've actually not faced each other since then. You know RNG is going to want to come out and actually want to beat SKT and prove that they are the best team in the group of death right now. I think that if you look at both days, you could literally say any team is going to win. But right now, I think that SKT are going to take it. I feel like they were they had the stronger performance. I feel like they had the better draft sense from what I saw. And I also feel as if RNG could, could seriously give them a, a run for their money. All of the laners played really well today. So this is going to be a big, big banger. I hope this matchup goes to like 40 minutes back and forth. Liter Baron's getting steal stolen. Stealing. <laughs> Baron's getting stolen. I hope for a really good match. I honestly do, but I think SKT are going to pull it out in the very end. Next matchup, we have EU versus NA. Long storied rivalry in the League of Legends community. NA wins the non important games. EU wins the important games. Sometimes EU has easy groups. Sometimes NA has easy groups. Sometimes NA does better. Sometimes EU does better. It's more or less so EU always does better. XD, Omega, LOL. Fnatic versus Clutch Gaming. You have Huni going up against his old Fnatic uh, organization. Cody Sun can finally get his revenge against Reckless for knocking him out of the 2017 World Group Stage, actually. So, now, this is an interesting match because most people on paper would choose Fnatic, but Clutch looked somewhat decent against RNG. They, It was a lot of misplays from them that really did cost them the game, and I really do feel like Clutch have a shot at beating uh, Fnatic, but... Looking at how Fnatic were fighting back against SKT, then you want to say Fnatic are going to win against Clutch. Oh my god, is, is this the day where I pick Clutch over Fnatic? Absolutely hell no. Fnatic are going to win against Clutch. Sorry Clutch, you're going you're gonna to start your group stage 0-2. and two. I really want to pick them, but I have to go with my gut. Fnatic are obviously going to take Clutch down. And I, if, if Clutch be Fnatic, it's good for the a NA fans. But, man, I, that would really suck for Fnatic, wouldn't it? But, because I picked them at second for my pickums, And my pickums are going to get wrecked if I'm not right. So, uh, someone's probably going to keep track of, of how many uh, times I was right. So, on this day, I got one, two, three. I got three right. I went three for three. So, let's try and get this day with me in the positive, right? <laughs> Alright, you have the next big banger match. You have Team Liquid versus IG, a rematch of the 2019 midseason invitational. Can IG get the revenge against TL? Looking at how both teams played, we're actually in in store for another really good match because I feel like both teams have finally found their footing. IG today looked obviously really good. So did TL. The compositions that IG wanted to play were more early game focused. You guys know TL is going to play. TL is going to play the exact same way that TL plays. Now, with I this new reinvigorated IG, can this IG take down Team Liquid this time around? I think that this will be a really, really good match, but I'm going to have to give it to Team Liquid this time around because I feel like if IG's composition tomorrow won't come online, and I, I feel like if the TL laners can hold their own just like they did against Damwon, they're going to have a chance to win. So I'm going to actually have to, have to pick TL here. Uh, IG, I love my IG boys. I love me some shy, but you know... I'm going to go with my gut here, and I'm going to choose Team Liquid. And next, you have AHQ versus Damwon. Damwon looked pretty competitive in a match against TL, while AHQ looked like utter dog shit against IG. This is a, this is a no-brainer. I'm choosing Damwon. And then, you got my boys, the, who's probably going to win Worlds 2019. Let's be honest here. G2 Esports facing off against Griffin. Now, this is going to be really, really interesting, is that this is a must-have momentum bringing game to the point where you want G2 to win this game to the point where this will build them confidence as a lot of people don't really know what actual form they are in give, given their really weird summer split in the LEC Griffin obviously have a lot of shoes to fill too because everybody's looking at them either going to be choking or they're going to be you know that really superstar team that we know they can be. So this is going to be a, a really, really uh, key banger match for both uh, squads. There's a lot of good matches today. SKT RNG, TLIG, you know, Fnatic versus Clutch is not that bad, actually. And then you have G2 versus Griffin. There's a lot of banging matches. I wish I was in EU right now, hitting on some EU girls and watching some League of Legends, but that's probably not ever going to happen. So, 
Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take G2 and then this one. I feel like if they play the exact same way they played against SKT uh, as they beat them at the midseason invitational uh, just a few months ago i feel like that style can hold them hold them off i feel like griffin can take down g2 it's very very possible that it will happen but i feel like that g2 are going to take this one home today and the last match is my boys in the blue the good old good guys cloud nine facing off against hong kong attitude we have not seen cloud nine play since the uh 20 uh 19 summer finals in the north american lcs and obviously we have not seen hong kong attitude for a couple days since they just played in the playing stage obviously cloud nine needs this win really really bad as i stress to a lot of the cloud nine fans i was talking to on the facebook group and on reddit is that this is the team you need to go 2-0 on you cannot lose to this team because if you lose to this team the up uh, then that kind of just makes your run harder because if you if you beat this team 2-0 you beat g2 once you beat griffin once you're out of the group all you have to do is secure two wins against this team because from today i did not really see uh ahq do as well and we didn't even really see hong kong attitude do that well in plans i mean they have decent parts about them but i feel like cloud nine will be able to take them down and remember this is a must-have win for them i i would be I would be shocked if it lost this game because this is going to really set the momentum for both G2 and Cloud9 because when they face each other coming in the next day, that's going to be crazy potentially. Because Well, actually, I, I don't even know because I haven't actually scrolled down this far. So, yeah. So, that's my day two predi predictions. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with SKT, Fnatic, TL, uh, Damwon, G2, and Cloud9. Hopefully, I actually don't go 3-3 three and three and get knocked out of the group. But... You guys know me. I'm the Nightwing, and this is Whale of Esports, and I'm signing out. And let me know who you guys think are going to actually win the games today. Uh, what did you think about Worlds 2019 Group Stage Day 1? And that's pretty much it. See you guys later. Bye. Have a good day. Like, comment, subscribe. Most of all, enjoy. And I'm signing out. Peace. You guys have a great day. Hi, you guys. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more stuff. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>